Hi everyone, uh, we are back again in Aphrodite Park residence. Um, some of you already met me on the site. During presentation we are in the, um, the wind seminars. Today we're gonna go through the site for the people who couldn't come here. I want first, before we talk about Aphrodite Park residence, to, to um, put it in the context of Aphrodite and actually Evergreen. Evergreen started operation back in 2003, towards the end of 2003. We started our marketing in the North Coast, the line of products of Crystal Bay. Later we came with Aquamarine, uh, Horseshoe Bay. Sometime in 2006 we acquired the land, the beachfront land uh, um, over here in the, in the village of Gaziveren, which is part of the Left Care region, on the west coast of, uh, of, uh, of, of North Cyprus. And it's a, it's a bay, we are basically on a bay of 35 kilometers uh, uh, opening. We are right on the water. We, so far we built three phases of Aphrodite Beachfront Village, where the last, uh, the last uh, um, phase was, is the wave of 85 units. We started deliveries uh, spring 2017. In total, we completed so far in Aphrodite in Evergreen. Um, approximately 800 properties in 17 developments. We have in the pipeline about four big developments that we are uh, now uh, planning. And in Aphrodite specifically, we have completed almost 300 properties, delivered about 250 of them. And currently, we are in the midst of the, we are in the construction site of Aphrodite Park Residence, which I would consider it as our fourth phase. This site is compiled of uh, 128 uh, apartments in two buildings. Each building comprises of 64 units, where we have seven typical floors with studios, one bedroom and two bedroom units, while floor eight and nine are the duplex units. One of the most successful uh, factors, elements, I would say, of Aphrodite was that we kept the front part of the site for the communal facilities, meaning that no matter if, where you purchase on the site, you will have your, where you're gonna spend your time will be in the prime location of the site, right on the sea. And so between you be positioned, so between the swimming pool, the grass area and the beach, restaurant, the, the indoor heated swimming pool, the gym, etc. What we've done over here in Aphrodite Park Residence, we use the same principle and even though in the early designs we had a penthouse on the roof terrace all the way to the top floor, we decided later on to cancel it and put over there a swimming pool, a bar and a gym. And that is on each of the top floors of the buildings. All right, so no matter where you buy in Aphrodite Park Residence, whether it's a studio or, uh, or a two bedroom or one bedroom in the ground floor, in the middle uh, section, you will all have the best views that this uh, site has to offer at the 10th floor of it. And as you can see on the 3Ds, we captured over there a, um, a visual of, of an infinity pool where you see the water, the sea, and the mountains of uh, the Trudos Mountains. And we are 400 meters from the beach. In Aphrodite, we have Joe Bar and Bistro, which um, opening at 9 a.m. until the last uh, customer. It managed by uh, uh, Irfan. Uh, and we have a beach bar that opens during the, the spring, from the spring until autumn. We have yoga um, studio, we have the gym, we have uh, Uchik with her uh, fantastic Balinese uh, and the uh, Thai massage uh, um, rooms over there. And we have Tal. Tal is our, uh, he's managing the, the water sports club with giving uh, wave surfing lessons, kite surfing lessons, paddle boarding, we do sap yoga, etc. So basically we provide um, what many people are looking to have over uh, their vacations. So that's about the, the, the design features of, of, uh, of, the, of Aphrodite Park Residence. I want to touch the, um, 
the investment uh, uh, possibilities over here. Aphrodite Park Residence is located between three universities. And over the years we, we had professors, and uh, mainly professors and, and staff members of the universities coming and, and asking for, uh, to rent properties from us in, in Aphrodite. Later on, many of them actually purchased from us. But that, that, uh, um, one of the things that we were missing is that we didn't have enough people in Aphrodite that were actually purchased for, for the purpose of, in, of uh, rental return, as they wanted to use it uh, most of the year. Also, we, most of our properties over there are two bedroom and three bedrooms. And we couldn't, we didn't have the right product for the junior staff members and senior students around. Add to this uh, Cyprus Health University, which, which was opened two years ago, and they are located in, in Guzelio. Now, the problem with that university is that there is not enough dormitories or uh, the city of Guzelo doesn't really have um, options for, uh, for, for rental for students and this junior and senior staff member. So the university came and approached us and asked to lodge and, and refer students into Aphrodite Beachfront Village. But as I mentioned, we don't have enough uh, properties for that. And that what made us realize that we are now having over here a product that can answer that uh, need. So what we've done, we over here what we put together is a package for investors. I will, uh, for an example, what I would like to focus over is one of our typical one bedroom apartments. This one bedroom apartments, I think we still have in our availability properties from 43,000 pounds and I think they, they go all the way up to the mid 50s. <clears throat> now, this one bedroom property, as you can see on the, on the drawings, has quite a spacious uh, living room. So what we've done over here, we offered our investors to partition the living room, allowing a kitchenette and by that accommodating two students in one one bedroom apartment making it two rooms each of them as you can see on the floor plans has their own private covered terrace so it, it turns into it actually almost doubles the um, your income from from such a, a property i think one of the most uh, uh, unique uh, factors of um, of um, aphrodite park residence being a turkish title did where it allowed us to be on booking.com and Booking.com is, a, is, a, is, an, a, is a very important um, lead generator when you are targeting the holiday rental uh, uh, market. Because I always say that if you are not on Booking.com, it's as if you have a website that is not showing on Google.com. From a rental perspective, Aphrodite has two sources. We have the long-term rental, which is based on the universities around us. And then we have the holiday rental that is, we're getting it from uh, booking.com. Looking at the uh, holiday makers' uh, um, patterns, and speaking pers personally from my own uh, experience with my own family, uh, families prefer apartments over hotels because that allows them a more, to spend more quality time with their, with their family in within an apartment sometimes they want to cook for themselves or they just want to have a quiet downtime in a more of a spacious environment where kids have their own room parents have their room there is a living room there's a kitchen um, and that's why Aphrodite proved itself to be pretty successful among holiday makers now add another uh, way of um, of the holiday market is that people are booking their holidays Late at night, many times, when the kids are asleep, when they are away from work, during the weekends, which, meaning, which means that not during working hours. And that's why it's very important that, you, that um, resorts will have um, a solution for people to be able to close and book their holiday without being dependent on, on, um, on an office personnel to reply to an email. And that's what we have with our cloud-based system. Meaning, so all of our holiday makers have the options to 
book their uh, book their um, um, room with us and close the close the whole uh, vacation without speaking to any of our um, um, holiday rental representatives. Another thing that we have is that on site we have our holiday um, our management and letting office, which although it works from uh, nine to six o'clock, but the staff are on site. 24/7. We made sure that our site manager, our um, our booking manager, um, as well as uh, the maintenance team and the housekeeping team are living on site, being able to provide service and and uh, check in customers at any time of uh, of the day. Our rental model is based on two uh, sources of income. We have the nine-month long-term rental, basically covering the, covering the academic year, and the three-month holiday rental, sourced from Booking.com and other resources of, um, of uh, holiday um, makers coming to Aphrodite. So let's go on the showcase table I've prepared. The scenario that I put over here is nine months of, uh, of, uh, of, of rental to the university customers, and three months which is the summer semester where the students are basically going home is, is uh, going to be uh, um, available for holiday rentals. Long-term rental is of 400 pounds a month, making it 3,600 pounds um, over nine months. Then we have the rental income from the holiday makers. We charge 60 pounds for maintenance fees a month and we, as well as 300 pounds finder's fee for the student's rental. Putting it all together, we are getting net before tax 4,655 pounds, and after th tax, we are getting to 4,190 4, pounds. Currently, our cheapest unit is 43,000 pounds for a one bedroom, making it almost 11% rental return before tax, and almost, and almost 10 percent after tax. Over the past few months we put together a package with Credit West Bank. This, is, this package offers um, 10 years mortgages for foreigners as well at attractive interest rates relatively to no Cyprus. In the past year, we worked together closely with Credit West Bank, putting together an investor package. The investor package is allowing foreigners to invest in Aphrodite Park residence by putting 30% down and the rest, the balance, over 10 years. Now it's getting better because over the several months I met a, a meeting with investors, I realized that it's not enough. We, so, I, I went back to Credit West Bank and we, we improved the, the package. So today the package includes furniture package, electric goods, ACs, um, bedding, anything you need for, for making, kitting the property for, um, for a renter, for a tenant. Um, furthermore, since we are, in, um, we are still under construction, uh, we are now deferring the monthly payments to the completion of the property. Okay, so imagine that you put 30% down now, in some properties is, is as much as about 15,000 pounds, and the balance you won't be needing to pay only in the completion of the project. Now, the moment we source the, um, the tenants, according to the model I just spoke about, in some properties you'll find yourself with a, with a positive cash flow and all the worst case scenario in a cash flow, negative cash flow of 100 to 200 pounds a month. So by securing 15,000 pounds property, you are in over 10 years, you basically own a property that will own much more and that will yield income for you. In the model I showed you, we are estimating 40% capital appreciation over the first five years. 
and th that's based on real numbers and that we experienced in our previous projects. Put that together with the rental income. You are within five years, you find yourself with anywhere from 300% to 400% uh, return on investment.